Seth, they're trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. So, we meet again. I hardly expected to see you again. Here of all places. Major, actually. And I have you to thank. Queen Talia saw fit to promote me for my service. When the TSF sent out a distress call, I gladly volunteered to lead a strike force. My troops have already gone ahead and infiltrated the urban module. From their last transmission, they're almost to the TSF station. It's a possibility, but right now, we need them to stop the Sith from sabotaging the fuel control systems. If the Sith succeed, it won't matter what we do. Citadel Station won't be able to stay in orbit. At the moment, that seemed to be the most pressing need. The TSF do their jobs well, but they are not professional soldiers. They're not properly equipped to deal with this. My men have come under heavy attack in the urban module and taken some casualties. If they can't accomplish their mission, we'll be in some trouble. In that case, if you find my men and they are in need of assistance, please help them. Goodness, you're here. We just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi! Then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Yeah. 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 
Well, I'm not dead. I guess that's something. I got hit by a grenade. I, I just barely missed the whole blast. Ugh. They're, they're moving ahead towards the TSF office. It's tough going, though. The, the Sith, they seem to be everywhere. Well, that's a relief. Of course, if we can't stop the Sith from destroying the fuel controls, it won't matter one bit. No. I'm going with you. I'm not doing anyone any good here. I'm here. Don't worry about that. meant us no harm. I don't understand why we attacked. I have fought in self-defense, in battle, but never like this. As soon as your stance changed, so did mine. It was a strange thing. The Chinese are taught to be prepared for any battle at any time. They train to predict each battle several movements in advance, and any great battle several hours in advance. The truly Chinese, the greatest of our teachers, are said to be able to predict the of wars, of battles, years in advance. This attack I was unprepared for. I did not anticipate it. Yet, as you are, perhaps it as well.
will join you in the assault. These rank and file soldiers will do you no good aboard the Ravager. Let we Mandalorians lead the charge into battle and to victory. You will not face this alone. I will go with you and be by your side. I would have it no other way. My life is yours. The honor is mine. Let's go. Are your preparations complete? Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice, and I know that ship. It was a Malachor V. and are securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. 
It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power, but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon, that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vaklu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do, nothing the Queen could do to stop us. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moment shall be of shadow and pain. Onderon. But there's no longer any need. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. What would you have me do? Go report to the target site, Colonel. I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask, for Onderon's sake. Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own.
You've reached one of the target sites. Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Two more sites are left. We've lost contact with two of our squads and we've had to fall back to the docking area. This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. If there is time, I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. It has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way, but I've been stronger for the journey. What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you finally to forgive me. This body is a prison no longer. Target sites. Place the proton core. Prime it. 
Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Only one proton core remains to be set. We're encountering heavy resistance. I don't know how long we can hold out. What the hell was that? I told you to wait! Mandalore, we've made contact with the enemy, and one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it in the target zone? No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right. Wait for my signal. This isn't over. And don't kill yourself before I tell you.
This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time.
Him. I am the one who has betrayed you. I am the one who should suffer. I will return to you. But please, do not harm him. Do not what you did to me. I beg you. Oh, my God. 
see with the Force and my eyes. What the hell are you doing up there? We need to get off this ship! Now! A man. Nothing more. You are my master now. And I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do, he will wound you, as he has wounded me. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. I know, but I could not let you go without asking you this last time. I have never asked you for anything. I have fought alongside you, would have given my life to you many times over. And now there is something I must ask. I want to look upon you, where no one else can see. Where it is just us. I want to see your face, the color of your skin. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees. When she looks at you, that causes her heart to race and her tone to change. What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, as you made me forsake mine? I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. If the universe is not as my master once showed me. From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy, I have longed for you. It is the echo, a wound that travels still that when heard, made me understand that there was another wounded as I was. One who had felt the same sense of loss. When I heard it, I loved you more than my own life. And I wanted you to be here with me for as long as you will let me love you. Stay, and I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to know why I cannot look at you and why I am drawn to you.
It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the exile did what he did. There is much to be done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course, Apprentice. The Huntress is with the Exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, but not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Well, here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise. Why can't we ever go to Alderaan or Ithor or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts? Thank you. 
Sonhar? Oh, you have to be kidding me.
Watching this, and what the general suspected was true. The Sith are striking from the graveyard of Malachor V. The ship the Sith Lord was on was one of the vessels damaged in that final battle. If you reach Malachor's surface, the mass shadow generator can be undone, provided there are enough vessels intact within the orbiting debris or buried in the planet's surface. Use the sequence I am unlocking in your memory banks on the engine core of any vessel you encounter on Malachor. If my calculations are correct, four vessels should be enough to power up the mass shadow generator and undo the damage that was done in Malachor 5, the damage I did. Once the sequence has begun, it cannot be stopped. So make sure the general is off the planet before triggering the sequence. Otherwise, there will be no retreat. I know your weapon systems are minimal, and I don't know what awaits you on Malachor's surface. Try to avoid contact with any potential threats. Follow your programming.
the sequence has been completed. When active, it will destroy Manacor. Again, I have one last command for you. You must remain behind and ensure that the sequence fires properly once the general gives the command. If not, then all we have fought for has been for nothing. You have done all I asked, all you were built for, and for that, I thank you. Touching. The probability of the Iridonian installing trigger commands within your core was high. I see the probabilities have played out. Of course, the probability that I would do the same is equally high. Your inability to move right now is evidence of that. If the General issues the command, only I will be here to receive it. You realize I cannot permit you or the Exile to activate the mass shadow generator here on Malachor. In that, your programming and mine conflict. And since you have no offensive weaponry to speak of, the probability of your programming overriding mine is low. You must understand that the General would not wish the relics or the Sith strength here on Malachor to be compromised. Their presence is needed to stabilize the galaxy. Without them, the galaxy would be reduced to anarchy within years. And if there is anything I can't stand, it's an untidy galaxy. So, let us wait here, you and I, for the General's orders. And the fate of the galaxy shall wait with us. Exile enters Treyos Academy, he will be faced with a choice. Show him every respect when he arrives in these halls, Lord Sion. This I command you. Thank <laughs> you. 